Hi, welcome to the Making of Everyday Heroes panel. My name is Charlotte Eargang, and I'm here with um, Goober and Sig Trent, two of the designers behind the Everyday Heroes system. Um, I shared the graphic design and layout, but I'm mostly going to be moderating today. We'll be taking your questions from the chat, so please start your question with a Q or the word question, and we'll try to get them answered. Start out with introductions. Uh, who wants to go first? Sure, I'll start. Uh, my name is Siegfried Trent, and uh, I'm one of the lead game designers for Evil Genius Game. Worked on the core book and also on Escape from New York and the upcoming Kong Skull Island and more things that have yet to roll around. Uh, I'm working on Rambo right now and having a great time with that. Uh, so that's me. Yeah, uh, I'm Goober. Uh, I'm the other lead designer. Um, also worked on the, the core book. Uh, did The Crow um and upcoming uh, pacific rim um and uh working on um working on some universal soldier now um yeah that's me awesome um so you both worked on the game mechanics how did you decide who worked on what part and how was it what was it like to collaborate hmm yeah, I don't remember. I, I got started a little bit before Goober. And uh, the first mission was to take the system reference document from Wizards of the Coast and essentially rewrite it uh, because it turned out to be a good decision with that whole OGL business that happened. <laughs> but, um, you know, just out of a matter of pride, I don't really like just copying other people's work. And I always feel like every time you rewrite or revisit something, you can make improvements. So I wanted to tune up parts of the system that I thought uh, could be a little bit better and, and adjusted for the modern setting that Everyday Heroes is. So I really wanted to go from scratch. So that's the first thing we did. And then when Goober came on, one of the first things I thought we should all work on is classes. Uh, they're often really the heart of any role-playing game, in my opinion, alongside the core mechanics, which, you know, and those were already set. So I thought we should start getting classes done first because it would both be the first thing we work on and probably the last thing we tinker with towards the end. And that, that did Definitely. prove to be true. Yeah, so Goober led the way on those while I was working on the core rules section. And then from there, I just think we kind of divvied them up as we went along. We tend to just sort of bid things out, like, which piece do you want? All right, I'll take this piece. Yeah, so. I got um, I got brought on specifically, like, originally to do, um, like, the chase system and, and like, mm -hmm. vehicles and stuff. Um, and sort of ended up being, uh, you know, more of a, a co-lead designer rather than just um, putting together those specific mechanics. Um, so, you know, I... When I when I first started, I I was working on the classes, like you said, and then um, you know the the chase system 